The Rainmaker by Alex Askarov. Grass had shriveled to a dusty brown. The countryside cloaked in a hazy gown. Summer had come for far too long. Warnings had been in the swallow's song. But no one wanted this eternal heat. Sun baking, burning from head to feet. Nowhere to hide, no place to go, to find fresh air or cool waters flow. Villagers gathered, something must be done to rid us of this infernal sun. Where was the water on which they relied? Crops had withered, cattle died. One spoke out. We must swallow our pride. Call the Rainmaker, they all cried. Word was sent throughout the land with hope prayer and upstretched hand to find the man they needed so who will bring rain to make crops grow the families all huddled some prayed a few worked on with tempered frayed would he come this man we need to make ground damp for fertile seed many days came and many went a thousand fretful hours were spent, watching, waiting for him to appear. One shouted, then two, then a cheer. The Saviour was coming, he will be here. The villagers assembled as he drew near. A giant of a man with dark sunken eyes. He looked, then listened to their cries. Just one demand for my deed, the firstborn of every breed. The meeting was short, the agreement fast, but their memories were poor, not made to last. Come next spring, I shall return. Make sure they are ready or all will burn. For if a bargain I do make, then no man or beast may it break. And with those words, his head flung back, arms stretched upward with a thunderous crack. Dark clouds rumbled from a clear blue sky, and raindrops fell from up on high. And down it came, hour after hour, controlled by some unearthly power. They all jumped for joy and celebrated. Gone was the dreadful heat they had hated. In its place was the gift of life, the end to all their dreadful strife. A million cracks soaked up the rain. Villagers danced, gone was their pain. So the deed was done, the pact was made. But as time marched on, memories did fade. The ground was damp, crops grew tall. Summer swept through, in came fall. The animals grew fat and heavy to pull. The store grains were high, the larders full. The moon swung by and spring did come. And all had forgotten, except the one. The ground rumbled with his roar. Give me the firstborn as a grief before. But the villagers were accustomed to their gains. Why give him anything for his pains? Another meeting, again short and sweet. With unanimous voice they decided to cheat. Yes, 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 they agreed one and all. The rain was coming anyway, was the call. So they gave him nothing and told him to go. The rain came regardless. How could you know? He bellowed. When will you learn, you mortal fools? It is I, the Rainmaker, that makes the rules. Head bowed down. The Rainmaker did turn. He scowled and hissed. For this! You'll burn! 
His eyes grew dark. His voice a roar. Now you shall pay as promised before. His arms rose high. The air became still. The very elements controlled by his will. Villagers ran, but there was nowhere to hide. The earth's crust opened as they cried. And all too late, the deed had been done. And as the smoke settled, there was just one. He surveyed the dead and barren land, wiped clean the earth with a wave of his hand, then turned his back and strode away, off to the next village for payment day.